Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. And, um, you know, I'm still in that uh, school themed mood. So I thought I'd put a little, um, I'm going to call it a picture together. Um, using my Teddy Bear Parade and the Plant and School Book cartridge. Alright, so I went through my um, school papers that I had for scrapbooking. And I found this sheet here, and um, I think this came out of a paper pack. Uh, I, I know that I've had it for a super long time. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put it on a piece of medium weight chipboard. And that's how I'm going to start my picture. And I'm using my glue so I can position it on the chipboard evenly. Because I know me, and I would probably lay it down. I used my adhesive tape and um, not put it on right. So I don't want to put too much glue on this because it is very thin paper and it will leak through, get all bumpy and everything. tell you, I wish, <clears throat> excuse me, got a little cold, that I um, had done this when I was a teacher. I was a teacher um, back in the mid and late 80s, and then I substitute taught for a while. Um, but I, I wish I would have had a cricket back then. My, I would have really had fun with my, my room. All right, so that we're going to set aside. That is our, our picture that we're going to put our teddy bear on. Now I cut the teddy bear out at 10 inches. Um, he's quite big, but it's gonna look so darn cute when um, it's all done. So let's put our first layer on. And I liked this one because um, of the little, I'm using the school teddy bear of a little computer. I mean, back in my days when we went to school, we had books. But nowadays, it's all about computers. So that's why I'm putting, that's why I chose this teddy bear. <clears throat> all right, put him together. And then we'll put his nose on and his ears. Yeah, having a summer cold is no fun, I tell ya. I used, um, for the black base, I used the Walmart color book paper. Comes in the, um, I got a white one right here. This one here, you get 40 sheets. And I think I maybe pay $10 for it. And I, I love it. Um, I wish they would make the paper packs like that in, you know, like um, primary colors or solid, you know, blues and greens and reds and sure save me a lot of money. Put his ears on. Now, I, there's a little faux pas here for those of you who have used the Teddy Bear Parade. Um, I was cutting out the layer with his ears, and for some reason, the paper lifted up off of my Cricut mat. Um, I'm thinking my mat is getting old, so it didn't actually cut out the other um, shape of the ear, so I manually traced this and cut it out myself, which is okay. Um, it would be this layer here. Um, it has a little bit different of a shape for that one ear. That works out okay. Okay, so looking at our little schoolboy, um, we've got several layers here. We have the layer that would go behind the computer and some other stuff, and then his clothing and um, his little shirt, and then that's the actual tie in everything. So I'm not going to glue this down yet. I'm going to lay it out and see where we're going with this. That would be his white shirt. And um, that would be the back of his computer. How cute is that instead of a apple 
sign they put, uh, obviously they could put an apple sign, but they put a uh, little teddy bear. So that's his computer. Let's set that aside for a second. And I have some other white layers here. I'll put these together in a minute. Oh, actually, I was wrong. Um, this should go like this. Let me just cut out this little... This also didn't cut crisp. So this is going to go like this. And then I'm thinking this will go like this. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's that. And um, let's finish up. We'll lay on his clothing here. Oh, he's just so cute. I love this teddy bear print. And these are his glasses, which we'll put on last. And then we have his shirt. And his little bow tie. And um, there's an extra little thing here that didn't cut out, but I think that's it right there. And um, I have these little pieces here that doesn't show it in the picture, so I'm not sure if these would be... No. Oh, they're just layering this a little bit. Which I could have cut this out again in um, another color like yellow to match his shirt, but I think I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that. And then I have these two pieces here that I'm not sure where they go, but we'll start putting it together <clears throat> now that we have the, the plan. Alright, so he's got to put his white shirt down first. I think what we could do, I don't have it available right here in front of me, but I'm going to grab something and um, ink up the sleeve a little bit. And then it'll show more of a, a dimension. Alright, then we're going to put this brown on. On um, Campin' Critters, there's a, a cut that is a backpack. So if you wanted to add, if you have that cartridge and you wanted to add a backpack, that would be cute. Because the kids still will wear their backpacks. Okay, and his little Argyle shirt. And you could do this in any color. Blue would be cute as well. I just copied it from the cartridge. Did the yellow. A little bit too much glue. We have to be careful with that. Let's put his bow tie on. I'm going to pop this up. Excuse me while I grab my dimensionals. Just kind of pulling at stuff here. <laughs> um, I got this roll at the 99 cent store and I'm loving it. I'm using it like crazy. One of the reasons why I don't use dimensionals so much is because they are um, expensive. So let's pop this little tie up. I'm definitely going to make a little teddy bear with the Halloween theme for my front door. So stinking cute. Okay, there's that. Like I said, oops, I'm going to kind of fudge my way with his sleeves here. I don't have my proper um, sponge or anything to do this, so... A little bit more. 
it should be okay. Yeah, it just gives a little bit of a dimension so you can see it a little better. You could also do it a different color. You don't have to have it white. And we'll do the other one as well. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, okay. I don't want to smear the ink. I'm trying to be careful. Oops. And there it is. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, let me put my cover back on. And his computer. <clears throat> I see that um, the triangle pieces that I was unsure of where they belonged would match up with the this here but I'm um, not sure what the purpose is of having it on there but I'm gonna go ahead and ink it up like I did the sleeves and that's his little keyboard I get that but okay there's that let's go ahead see there's two pieces here if anybody's made this before, I could use your input on where they're supposed to go. Or maybe those are just extra pieces that cut out. Yeah, see, that's not going to go there. What about this one? No, I don't know. I don't know what they're for. Strange. All right, so he's going to hold his little laptop and use a dimensional for that. Cover up his arm too much. Pick this up a second so I can see how far I can go. There we go. And his glasses. Now I'm going to use my smaller. Push this up a little bit. And you could, if you wanted to, cut the. Um, <coughs> excuse me, the glasses again in black. He's a very studious little bear. Carefully on his nose. Excellent. All right, so we put our bear together. Let's come back to our picture and we will put him on. I'm going to pop him up. I'm not going to glue him down, so let's get my dimensionals. Just noticed that on my camera my battery light is flashing so I'm gonna speed up a little bit here now using the plant and school book Crick cricket cartridge I cut out um, welcome to room and then I cut out all the let uh, excuse me the numbers uh, one through zero zero through nine and um, you can put you know the room number on it. Okay, I'm gonna bring him all the way down here and I'm gonna let his little computer hang off the side here. In the case I am in the middle of this and my camera shuts down. Um, I want to thank you all for watching and um, again if you know those extra pieces I use the roly-poly at one inch for the plantain. I've been looking at that um, new cartridge out that's called chalkboard uh, font or something like that. Alrighty, so you get the gist. Two. It would be really cute to put um, 
I think it's either Simply Charmed or Doodle Charmed. You could put a little apple down here with the worm coming out. I may do that. I didn't think about that till now. That would be cute. Oops, my fingers are sticky from the glue. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. And then I went ahead, like I said, and cut out all the numbers. So, if any of my teacher friends would like this, they could have it. All the numbers. All right, so I'm definitely going to go and um, cut out an apple with a little word in there. Excuse me. <clears throat> and there's my little sign. All right, thanks all for watching. Have a great day.